Gadget, here comes Gadget, Gadget! After all these months, finally repaired and back on my desk. <laughs> This bulletproof case will keep you safe from Gadget. Yes, sir. Lieutenant Gadget report. Ah! No more I've got it, sir. Go, go, Gadget on. You should be more careful, sir. You could have broken that nice glass case. I could care less about the case. It's the watch. It's important. Authentic 1883 Rajma Bolex, offered to me personally by the Sultan Rajma the Great himself when I was commanding in the Legion. <laughs> A collector's piece. Oh, yes, and that too. The quicker I give you your assignment, the quicker you'll get out of my office. Wump has cut wind of Dr. Claw's involvement in a competition to find the world's stinkiest animal. Wowzers! Is Dr. Claw going legit? Of course not. Your mission is to find out what Claw is up to. Yes, sir. Consider it done, sir. But uh, something worries me. Go, go, Gadget Atomic Watch. Just as I thought. Your watch is slow. Must have happened in the fall. Here, I'll fix it for you. <laughs> go, go, gadget watch repair kit. No! Please! That's an 1883 Rajma Bolex! Trust me, sir. Nobody is as cautious with watches as me. It'll just take a second. There. Good as new. Thanks to the latest timing device from Womp, it'll never run slow again. Uh, oh. Fine, fine. Just don't touch anything else, ever. Now get out! Yes, sir. I'll hurry. Huh? Odd. Where did I put that micro bomb detonator timer? and chili fries. Now, boys, I only agreed to install these experimental digestive tracks because the enzyme breakdown will store enough electricity in your reserve chamber to carry you through, should your main power source be deactivated. Whatever. Bring on the tuna surprise. Hey, you gotta go easy. A little goes a long way. Let's start the test with some broccoli. Hey, aren't we supposed to hate broccoli? Mm, good. Yeah, but I wonder how many volts there are in a pepperoni and cheese pizza. Come on, huh? troops. The hunt is on. Don't worry. Uh -huh. I'll keep monitoring you from a distance. Well, as your accountant, I have some bad news. I'm sure I'm not telling you anything you don't already know, but uh, the cost of doing evil continues to rise, what with the bribes, hush money, and payoffs. Your monthly nut alone is pretty steep. Ease up, Williams. Good news, sir. Your latest plan to bring in the necessary capital, the world's stinkiest animal competition, is on budget and on schedule. Excellent. <laughs> mm -hmm. Garlic and Limburger cheese pizza. Great stuff. That was nice to grab some food on the way. You'd better watch what you eat. Penny said these stomachs are still experimental. Whoa! Oh, that's <laughs> That's the second biggest check I've ever seen. Yeah, a million dollars. Now I know why Dr. Claw is interested in this contest. Hmm, 
A million is peanuts to Dr. Claw. There's got to be something else he's after. Fidget, Digit, stay close to my uncle. I smell a rat. Don't worry. We'll stick to him like peanut butter on pumpernickel. Speaking of which, food. Always food. Can't you think of something else for a while? Yep. Siesta. Three pizzas and a siesta and I'll be fine. Shouldn't be too hard to smell out a mad agent here. Of course, the perfect mad agent disguise. But you can't fake a full diaper. Wowzers. I must inform you, madam, that this contest is for animals only. What are you doing? They're not entering the baby. They're what? entering his pet goat, Billy. <laughs> Reporting, everything is right on schedule, except for a minor foul up with one of the reporters. I sense you think he's a problem. What do you want me to do? Eliminate him now. Ladies and gentlemen, and smelly animals, welcome to the first competition to find the world's stinkiest animal. I'm your host, William O'Day. Please, please hold your applause and your noses. <laughs> because tonight I'll have the honor of awarding the winner a check for one million dollars. Mr. O'Day, housekeeping. First, I put him to sleep. Then, adios, gadget. <laughs> My nose tells me that warthog costume is just large enough to conceal a mad agent. Looks like a real warthog to me. Precisely, Private. Too real to be true. All right, show yourself. <laughs> I smell awful! Oh, you'll make me so mad! Mad? As in mad agent? Let's have a look at you. Go, go, gadget, shower! Help! Go, go, gadget, hot air blower! on the phone. Aha! Uh -huh. I heard that. I'm getting mad! Oh, a confession, eh? Perfect. Go, go, gadget, digital recorder. Warthog swill! I think I'm going to be sick! My eyes! I don't want to hear another word! <laughs> I'd say it's time to come clean about your plan to steal the million dollars, Mad Agents. 
privates, arrest them. Can't you behave for a... Uh-oh. I think our stomachs are creating too much backup power. We're overheating. We smell horrible. By combining the odors from all these foul-smelling beasts, we've managed to create the world's worst smell. You mean we are the winners of the contest? Wait, that stench isn't coming from us. It's coming from them. Ew! Go, go, anti-odor nose clip. This day, day, we've, we've got, got a winner. winner. Ooh. Winner? Who? Gotcha. Just as I suspected, William is a mad agent. Dr. Claw, let me explain how Operation Stink Bomb will work. The winner of the stinkiest animal contest will be crushed, much like this onion. The resulting foul odor concentrate will be placed in a bomb that will be launched into space and detonated, resulting in the world's nastiest odor being spread across the entire planet. However, our chemists have created the only antidote. A serum which would make the user immune to smelling the detestable odor. Since we are the only ones that possess the antidote, needless to say, Mad will make a fortune marketing it. What a stinky plan. And huh? the good news is, whatever animal wins, he won't be stinking up the place anymore. This is terrible. Whoever wins gets squished. I've got to stop that contest. Ladies and gentlemen, our judges have unanimously elected the world's stinkiest creatures. And you, happy owner, you get our check for one million dollars. Wowzers. And me who just wanted to buy a new TV. <laughs> One last small formality. Just sign here. Say no more. Go, go, gadget fountain pen. Perfect. Audience, contestants, everyone, I'd like to thank you for coming. Yeah! Oh, and there will be no second show. And now if you two stinky animals will come with me. <laughs> Goodbye, privates. Don't cry. I'm not crying. My eyes are watering from your breath. When I'm finished with them, they'll wreak havoc no more. 